with all my soul, sisters. Let me hear your flow, sister. Hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister, flow, sister, hey, sister, go.
Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Give it up for Nicole, Bianca, Melanie, and Lyra. All right. Okay, now that we've warmed you up with that lot, are you guys ready to meet the 12 stars of tonight's show? Okay, before we do that though, there are a couple of things I need to tell you about the all new, all real Miss South Africa 2002. If you have access to DSTV, click on the OK icon or go to Channel 37 for an exclusive live look at how the show gets put together piece by piece. Plus, there's access to all the backstage drama as and when it happens. And speaking of backstage, we've got three cameras there right now hanging out with a very sassy Nicole Fox. Thanks very much, Sammy, and welcome backstage for the very first time on Miss South Africa, you're going to be able to see exactly what happens here and we're going to be chatting to a whole lot of people. Right now, our four performers, Lyra, Bianca, Melanie and Nicole, welcome, fabulous show. What was it like out there opening for Miss South Africa 2002? <laughs> I tell you, it was absolutely fantastic. The crowd was really great. I, I, I think I can speak for all the girls and say it was lots and lots of fun. <laughs> Just part three. <laughs> you guys got fabulous outfits on, doll. Yeah, we look smashing, don't you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look fabulous. You look fabulous. Join the club with all the girls. They're looking gorgeous. All right, how is it for you out there? The crowd's good. The crowd's wonderful. It was such a good experience, really. Yeah. Wonderful. Nicole, you've had a chance to meet some of the finalists. What do you think of the contestants? I think they're all beautiful and intelligent and special in their own way. And I wish there wasn't only one winner. Thank you very much. You were stunning. Back to you, Sammy. Thanks, Nicole. Now, the other unique thing about tonight's show is, of course, the judging process. Yesterday, our 12 contestants spent some time with the judges for the pre-judging session, which amounts to 65% of the total score. The other 35% gets scored on live tonight. And uniquely, you at home, for the first time ever, will be able to see how each judge scores each section, which I think is pretty cool, don't you? All right, speaking of judging, let's introduce to you the people with the most difficult job in the entire country's night. It's our judges. Say hello to Jackie Moffa King. Simon Radaman. And Genevieve Howard. And joining them tonight is Mnet presenter Jean Thomas. And Salvatore Chiazzone who is the Senior Vice President for Rickett Ben Kieser, the manufacturer of Veet. All right, enough mucking about with you lot. While our judges prepare to score the girls on personality, let's meet the 12 finalists right now in streetwear from Cameroon and shoes from Preview. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tammy Ann. She's 21 years old and from Paul in the Western Cape. I'm Tammy Ann Chaplain, and if I was to describe myself, I would say that I am a people's person. for 19-year-old Leanne from Ruedebrook, Kao Tang. Hi, my name is Leanne Ruedebrook. I can't describe myself in one sentence, so we'd rather leave it up to other people to decide what they think about me.
it's for Bridget. She's 21 years old and from Durban, KwaZulu Natal. I would say that I'm a young, mature woman that just absolutely loves life. person who enjoys the finer things in life, not forgetting who I am, where I come from, and the people who care about me. Please welcome 23 year old Peggy. Hi, I'm Peggy Masawa. If I were to describe myself, I would say I'm a daughter in whom God is working.
Hoffman from El Dorado Park, Kao Tang. Myself as confident, hardworking, determined, um, friendly, and definitely a people person. Western area, Kao Tang. Hi, I'm Taylor McKinney, and if I were to describe myself, I would say that I'm a very vibrant, positive, and I'm full of attitude. <laughs> This is 23-year-old Elsa B. Hi, my name is Elsa Smith, and if I can describe myself in one sentence, I'll say that I'm friendly and honest and loyal, and I like to be around people. Hi, I'm Masiko Mioque, and if I were to describe myself in one line, I would say that I'm a very compassionate, very loving and ambitious young lady who is easily fulfilled by the simplest things in life, such as giving love and receiving it back. This is 21-year-old Carolina. Hi, I'm Carolina Fitchick, and if I had to describe myself, I'd have to say that I'm an honest person, I'm passionate in what I do, and I do it to my best. I'm a good listener, and I'm empathetic.
They're blazing hot tonight. Make some noise for our top 12 in streetwear from Cameroon and shoes from Preview. I'm sure you'll all agree that all our finalists are looking absolutely gorgeous tonight, yes? And I can assure you that they're looking absolutely fantastic in the upcoming issue of Cosmopolitan magazine, which will be in store next week, so don't forget to check that out. Now, our judges have put their scores in for personality, but before we look at how the girls fared with the judges, let's see how you at home scored the girls on personality. Look at that, Leanne out in front, they like Leanne. Tammy Ann in second, and Carolina in third place, according to the viewers at home. That's how the viewers saw it. Let's see what the judges look like. Here's a summary of the judges' scores. Bridget out in front, Cindy in second, and Tammy Ann in third. Quite different from the viewers at home. Judges, what do you got to say for yourselves? Well, I must say that um, when Bridget walked out, she really, really looked absolutely amazing, strikingly red. Um, but Sammy, all the girls are sparkling. Well done. All these girls are really unique. We've found them all over the country, and they still surprise us every time. Tammy Ann is just so beautiful. <laughs> showed a lot of spunk on the stage. I'm so proud of them. Cindy especially looked really great. I think our viewers are forgetting that this is the personality section, not how gorgeous they're looking. And yes, they all are. And Bridget, well done. I love the way your attitude is just picked up. Who say the just body and no brain? I think that this performance is the demonstration of the, of the opposite. They are gorgeous bodies, of course, but those girls have got also personality and above all, a lot of brain. Okay, thank you, judges. Nicole, over to you backstage. Thank you so much. I can't believe you guys did so well. That's brilliant. I've got the three top girls here. Tammy Ann, you came second in the viewers' votes. How did that go for you? Oh, I've been great. It was such an amazing experience being out there. I'm so glad everybody voted. It's fabulous. Bridget, number one in the judges' eyes. You're a very loud girl. Does that put you in a good chance for running of Miss Personality? I would hope so. You know, you guys just scream, hey? Speak your mind. Loud as proud. <laughs> Leanne, you also did brilliantly. Well done. Do you think that the viewers' votes will be able to sway the judges' decision one way or the other? Uh, Nicole, I really do feel that it's important that the viewers can't, or viewers, uh, <laughs> but it's count because at the end of the day they need to have faith in the girl who they want to be the voice for South Africa. Absolutely. Congratulations to all of you and good luck for the rest. Okay. We'll be back after this break with Swimwear. Do not go anywhere. And so, the scoring has begun. And a course set in motion that'll change one woman's life forever. A woman chosen to represent a nation. A woman who is beautiful, intelligent, and confident. Confident in her looks, her intellect, her culture, her status in society, and her body. But how confident is she when wearing a swimsuit in front of millions of viewers? and shoes from Preview. because I think that a healthy body reflects a healthy mind. 
For me, a beautiful body is not necessarily being anorexically thin. It is being yourself, being what suits you, and reflecting health. I think a beautiful body should be well toned in proportion to what suits your personality. Self-confidence is the way you carry yourself, irrespective of the way you are built. This is Lizelle. Our film swimsuit section shouldn't take place because what we're looking for is an ambassador for a country, not a supermodel. What is important for a beautiful body is basically to eat correctly, to sleep well, and basically exercise. What gives me self-confidence is believing in myself and knowing that I can achieve anything just by trying my best. I think the swimsuit section is important because when you become Miss SA, you have to represent South Africa in the Miss World pageant and you have to be comfortable and confident with the, about your body. Self-confidence to me is being comfortable with yourself and knowing what you want. A beautiful body to me is all about the way you carry yourself. important in any beauty pageant because you want to show people that you need to stay healthy, you need to look after yourself and you need to exercise. I'm, I'm not big on mus muscles and, and stuff like that for, for a woman especially but just nice toning, a little bit of definition, that's a good body for me and it, it needs to look healthy, that's important for me. I think once again I do think that uh, the key to being confident especially in a swimsuit is when you know you look good. <laughs> Don't call me babe, cause I ain't your little girl. I think for Miss South Africa to wear a swimsuit is very important, especially for the viewers, and they must see the whole package of the Miss SA. What I think makes a beautiful body is, well, you have to eat right, you have to exercise, that's basically what shapes your body. I think that confidence comes from within. 
It doesn't matter whether you're wearing a swimsuit, a dress, or a pair of jeans. You just have to be confident in whatever you're wearing, or do, or say. Let's hear it for Nkele! For me, wearing swimsuits for men South Africa shouldn't be an issue because I believe that um, the ladies have got nice bodies and a beautiful body for me is all about having nice long legs um, when you firm the bonus and when you go up here, this is something that I don't have but I would love to have some boots as well and um, just nice shaped woman. For me, confidence is about a person who is not really shy who can go out there and say what they want to say and be able to take criticism as well. I think it's a great idea. It shows whether you are healthy and um, if you become a South Africa, you are a role model for so many people and, and the youth. I have no problem with it whatsoever. I think a beautiful body is just basically healthy and nice and firm. That's what I think is a beautiful body. I think um, confidence is when you know when you look good and when you feel good and then that will actually shine through and you will actually then uh, portray that to people. South Africa pageant serves a good purpose because it motivates fitness and it also encourages other women out there to stay fit, healthy and take good care of their bodies. A beautiful body is not necessarily one that's thin and skinny but rather one that's fit, healthy and well taken care of. Confidence is all in the mind really. It's about believing in yourself and um, just being comfortable with how you look and also having that um, that diva attitude, just knowing that you have it going on. is not a big issue but it is a tradition and that is what the public would like to see a beautiful body is a healthy body and as long as one feels happy with their body it's a beautiful body self-confidence is all about being content with oneself and projecting your persona to the best of your ability
time, beauty pageants have not only been about um, external beauty. I think that it's what's inside that counts. I think uh, probably it's not that important. I believe that beauty is very much in the eye of the beholder. A body that's healthy and toned and well exercised. Self-confidence is something that comes from within. A lot has to do with the people I surround myself with, the people I spend my time with, because if they determine what state of mind I'm in at the end of the day, and that determines my self-confidence. This is Leanne. I personally feel that they shouldn't do a swimsuit section because then the girls get judged on their bodies and I really think that they should focus more on their personalities and their inner beings. A uh, beautiful body to me is not the way your bum is shaped or the way your arms are because I know I don't have a perfect body but I'm very comfortable in it so for me it's beautiful. Confidence is not about looks, I think it's more about personality and the way you carry yourself and just how comfortable you are with yourself. Some noise for Bridget. The swimsuit section in any pageant is an important section because really the girls get to expose their physique to the outside world. It's the only way really that they can see what you look like. A beautiful body to me is my body. I personally don't go to gym and I don't have a six pack and I don't have nice calves neither. But I think my body is pretty perfect. Whatever you feel comfortable in. You know, that's beautiful. What is self-confidence to me? Internal love. If you can look at yourself in the mirror every morning and say to yourself you love yourself, honestly speaking, and just be content with speaking to yourself and looking at yourself. They look amazing now. Our judges have been scoring furiously on the swimsuit section, which amounts to 10% of the final score. But before we see how the judges scored it, let's see what you at home thought of the girls in their swimwear. Look at that, Leanne out in front. Tammy Ann in second, and in third place, one to the viewers. They love Carolina. Let's have a look at the summary of the judges' scores now. <laughs> Woo! Tammy Ann out in front, Bridget in second, and Leanne in third place. Judges, explain yourselves. Well, I, I heard Leanne saying that she doesn't believe in a, um, she, in a masculine body, but I must be honest with you, I believe a body should be toned, should be well-defined, and it should be nicely and beautifully shaped. For instance, you look at Tammy Ann's body, it is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> When we scouted the country, these girls and most of them were so shy to appear in front of us. Um, I honestly don't understand that because my list is so long. I start with Bridget, Leanne, Carolina, Elsebe, Cindy, Lizelle, Tish, how the list just goes on and on. 
It takes a lot out of these girls to get up there in front of us as an audience as well as the viewers at home. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely astounded, especially in Tammy Ann and Bridget. They look phenomenal. Perfection only exists in the imagination. As far as I'm concerned, these girls are absolutely gorgeous, that's for sure. However, it's not about a perfect body. It's about attitude. It's about how comfortable you are in your skin. And you know what they say, it's not what you've got, it's how you use it. And Bridget, Tammy Ann and Lee Ann do that very well. What stunning beauties. It's a very difficult call, even, even for an Italian like me. I can tell you, I want to spend anyhow a few words for two girls. I think they have a stunning swimming uh, and body. First is Leanne, was my first candidate this evening. And the second one is Bridget. Beautiful body. Judges, thank you very much. Now, the judges are not the only ones who can change the lives of our contestants tonight. We asked you a few days ago to vote for the girl that you thought had the best legs in the Miss Veet Legs competition. And you did. The winner will receive a 50,000 Rand modeling contract from Veet. I'm about to make that announcement. Let's find out who the new face and legs of Veet is going to be. That person, as voted for by the public, to be the new face and legs of Veet is... Carolina! with the Vanessa Carrera, Miss South Africa 2001, Nia Nell and the designers of Haute Couture as Miss South Africa goes Haute Couture with our top 12. Stay tuned. We're backstage with the winner of Miss Veet Legs. Carolina, congratulations, girl. Thank you. Are you shocked? I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm very shocked. There's so many girls with beautiful legs and we were all contemplating between each other who's going to win. And I didn't think it would be me. Well, you know what, you've done it. What are you going to be doing with that 50,000 Rand modeling contract from Veet? I need to think about it. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, girl. Stick around. We'll be back after the break with Vanessa Carrera. New All Real Miss South Africa 2002. Brought to you by Veet. Only on Image. Tonight, for the woman crowned as Miss South Africa, it will be a new beginning. The first step in a chain of events that will affect everything she does from this moment on. For another woman, last year's Miss South Africa, Vanessa Carrera, the first step is complete. Welcome backstage at Miss South Africa 2002. I'm standing backstage with the stunning Vanessa Carrera, Miss South Africa 2001. You look amazing in your Bernadette design. Thank you, Nicole. Welcome to the show. All right, we've got a lot of questions to ask you. First of all, you've been an ambassador for our country over the past year. How has that changed you? How hasn't it changed me? It has been an unbelievable year. I feel like a 45-year-old trapped in the body of a 22-year-old. I've grown so much, I've learned so much, and I'm ready to take on the world. <laughs> it must be a pretty life-changing experience being Miss South Africa. How have your friends, your family, the people of South Africa reacted to your role? You know, the support has been unwavering. I mean, I couldn't have asked for more in terms of the way people have supported me. And especially, I mean, besides going beyond support, it goes to inspiration as well. I've received so much inspiration from my family, my friends, the people of South Africa, especially my very good friend, Sabasili Madlatla, who was in the pageant with me last year. Unfortunately, she was killed in a car accident earlier. But I carry her spirit with me. She's been such a huge inspiration to me throughout my year. And uh, to Modise, she hasn't been forgotten, baby. Well, you can hear the support out there for you. They love you, and rightfully so. Um, something else was last night the Miss World event took place. Miss Turkey was crowned Miss World, an event which was surrounded by quite a lot of controversy. You decided not to participate in it. How are your feelings on that now? 
You know, first of all, I want to congratulate, congratulate Claire Sabaka. I really think she did a very, very good job in representing South Africa. I wish her all the best. And then to Miss Turkey, was kind Miss World. You know what? I just want to remind her of why the controversy started with the Miss World. Don't forget what we were fighting for, why so many of us decided not to go. Keep fighting for the rights. You're a mouthpiece. Use it now. Absolutely. And I think the women of South Africa feel exactly the same way. They're behind you. Um, something else, you've probably learned quite a lot during your year as Miss South Africa. Any advice for the next lady about to be crowned Miss SA 2002? So much. <laughs> you know, it is an absolutely insane year. You literally get swept off your feet. You meet so many different people from so many different industries. Keep your feet on the ground. Don't forget where you come from. Don't forget the people behind you and always stay true to your roots. That's it. We're about a couple of minutes, a couple of hours away from you handing over the crown. Uh, a couple of minutes, you're right. Handing over the crown. Would you like to sum up your experience for us? Absolutely. You know, South Africa is such a diverse country with so many different cultures, so many different traditions. And I think to find one person who represents all of them is impossible. Instead, what I tried to do was embody the strength, the resilience and the fortitude of my people. I gave this year my all. I hope I did my country justice. That's it. Oh, you absolutely did. Vanessa Carrera, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Miss South Africa 2001, Vanessa Carrera. Isn't she absolutely amazing? Say hello to Vanessa Carrera. We are definitely going to miss her. And now time for a remarkable new African talent whose first two singles off her debut album have been two of the biggest hits on radio for 2002. It's Near Nell.
remember her name, it's Nia Nell. All right, stick around because after the break, Miss South Africa 2002 goes off Couture. South Africa 2002, brought to you by Veet. All real Miss South Africa 2002, brought to you by Veet. Only on Inmet. Now, as our judges prepare to vote on overall appearance, please welcome our 12 ladies all vying for the coveted title of Miss South Africa 2002 in shoots from Preview and designer outfits from Craig Native, Gideon, Verna Day, Aubrey Ramichler, Gavin Raja and Verna Day.
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to our top 12 and designers, Craig Native, Gideon, Mark and Michael, Werner Day, Orbi Ramata, and Gavin Raja. of the final score. Before we look at what the judges thought, let's see how you at home scored the ladies on overall appearance. Look at that, Leanne out in front, Tammy Ann in second, and Karina in third, according to the viewers. Let's have a look at now at the summary of the judges' scores. Tammy Ann out in front, Bridget in second, and Cindy in third place. Judges, how do you explain that? Interesting. You know, from the day we met those contestants, from where we actually discovered them, to seeing them tonight on stage, they have grown so much. It's actually quite impressive. Well done. Yes, wow. I can, speaking as a designer myself, I, every time I see a girl beautifully dressed, I miss a heartbeat. And at this stage, I don't think my heart is beating. <laughs> what a transformation. I'm absolutely amazed. And Kayla and Tersha look absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with haute couture, though, can you? But if you want to know what X Factor looks like, look at Tammy Ann and Bridget. What a stunning performance. Uh, for a few seconds, I thought that I was in Milan or in Paris, like a beautiful fashion show. I, I uh, do have to say congratulations to all the girls and congratulations also to this beautiful country that is South Africa. Judges, thank you very much. Let's go backstage with Nicole. Yeah, thanks very much, Sammy. I've got Zenobia and Lizelle with me. Zenobia, the top five are about to be announced. How do you feel about your chances? Nicole, I'm optimistic. I gave it my best. We'll see what happens. Well, good luck. Lizelle, you look stunning tonight. What do you think of your designer outfit? Well, Nicole, I think these outfits are exquisite. They're young, sassy, but yet feminine, and that's what I love about it. Thank you, girls, and good luck. Okay, over the last few weeks, our 12 contestants have lived together, sharing rooms, bathrooms, and each other's personal space. They've laughed together, cried together, and they've also uh, become really good friends, for the most part, that is. Now, but in every group, there's always one girl that stands out as the one that everybody likes the most. While up in Zambia at the Royal Livingston and Zambezi Sun Hotels, we asked the girls to vote on whom they think should win Miss Personality. <laughs> personality, I vote for Elsa B. Smith because she looks like a little brown sausage doggy and she's always willing to listen to my silly story. The person that I voted for is Bridget. There's been a few contestants for me that I would have voted for, but Bridget has stood out the most to me purely because she has been herself all the way through. She's very happy, bubbly, she's brought a lot of laughter into the girls and she's my Miss Personality. The person I chose for Miss Personality is you, Zenobia, because of the simple fact that you just absolutely have a whole lot of personality. The person that I have voted for is Elsie. I think she deserves it the most. The person I voted for is Zenobia, because with her there's never a dull moment and she just always gets me laughing. 
The person that I've asked chosen is Bridget. Why I've chosen Bridget is simple fact being that she's always friendly, always joking around. Tasha. Reason being that she's remained true to herself and to others through and through. I have voted from Kelly. Uh, because she's remained herself throughout the whole passion. The person I voted for is Kelly because I just feel that she's a very down to earth person and she also fits in everywhere. Zenobia, because she's not afraid to be herself. The, vote, the person I voted for is Bridget. Um, I believe that Bridget has got a great sense of humor. She's sincere, she's honest, she's open, and she's very compassionate. Zenobia, and as I've said, because she's a very vibrant person, she's a nice person, and she always has the right answer for every problem that you have. Miss Personality will create that distinctive impression with gifts from Arthur Kaplan Jewelers and Sertina to the value of 15,000 Rand. Well, as you can see, it was a very, very close call there. The winner of the Miss Personality Award, as voted for by her fellow contestants, is... Zenobia! Miss Personality Zenobia! After the break, we announce the all important top five with the added pressure of questions in front of a live audience. But first, let's go backstage with Nicole, who's hanging out with Zenobia, our new Miss Personality. Congratulations, Zenobia. Well done, Miss Personality. <laughs> Thank you girls, thank you so much. Ah, this is such a surprise. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Did you expect to be voted in by your peers? No, no ways, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, congratulations, you've done it, girl. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back after the break. We're coming close to the top five. Your new All Real Miss South Africa 2000, your All Real Miss South Africa 2002. Brought to you by V2. Only on Inet. This year, Miss South Africa will receive the following prizes, as shown here by Miss SA 2001, Vanessa Carrera. Title sponsor Veet will ensure that Miss South Africa always feels smoother for longer, with a year's supply of Veet products and 50,000 Rand in cash. The first princess receives 15,000 Rand, the second 8,000 Rand, and the others 1,500 Rand each. From Sun International, the winner and first and second princesses will receive holidays at either Zimbali Lodge, the Table Bay Hotel, Royal Livingston in Zambia, or the Palace of the Lost City. Sun International will also provide the winner with a fully furnished apartment for the year of her reign. From Mercedes-Benz, Miss South Africa will become the proud owner of the ultimate balance of style, design, performance, reliability, and safety. The refined C230 Sports Coupe. From Electrolux Home Products, the world's number one choice, Miss South Africa will receive 100,000 rands worth of AEG Lifestyle Appliances. AEG, a passion for perfection. SAA are the official carrier of Miss South Africa and will supply the winner with business class tickets to the Miss Universe pageant. SD Lauder, the official makeup supplier of Miss SA, will give the winner and her princesses products for a year with hampers for all contestants. Carlton Hair, Miss South Africa's official hairstylists, will provide the winner with products and services for her reign. Arthur Kaplan Jewelers will dazzle Miss SA and her princesses with jewelry that will create that distinctive impression, while Sertina, the Swiss tie makers, will grace the arms of all Miss SA finalists. Miss South Africa will trust all her garments to the skillful, delicate touch of exclusive dry cleaners. Camelot Spa will provide beauty treatments for all contestants, as well as relaxing and rejuvenating treatments for the winner for a year. 
Each contestant will receive preview shoes while the winner will step out in style in designer shoes and bags from preview for her reign. Versace will give each contestant two pairs of designer Versace sunglasses while the winner receives Versace sunglasses during her reign. Cameroon will supply daywear for our winner and accessory hampers to each finalist. Cameroon setting trends in fashion and accessories. Miss SA will receive free shopping for a year at Spa where she will always be guaranteed unbeatable quality, value and service. Tempest Car Hire are the official car hire company for Miss South Africa during her reign. From our designers, Mark and Michael, Craig Native, Van Day, Gideon, Gavin Raja and Aubrey Ramatla, Miss South Africa will receive designer garments for the year of her reign. is what's up for grabs tonight. Welcome back to the show. Now, two weeks ago, we premiered a music video that was filmed right here on location at Sun City, featuring our 12 finalists, of course. Well, the artist in question has already had huge success this year with his singles in Calacata and Cordoba, and his brand new CD, Tornado, has sold over 50,000 copies, I kid you not. Performing live for you here tonight, the man, the one, the only, Mendoza! I'm shining, 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 I'm sh
good. Peace. Do we love Mendoza or what? Unbelievable. He's been the man of the earth. Are you guys having fun yet? Right. Our auditors, Price Waterhouse Coopers, have audited all the scores from tonight and added them to yesterday's scores to make up the all important top five. But before we look at those scores, though, let's see how you at home thought the top five should look like tonight. Look at that. It's Bridget, Tammy Ann, Elsaby, Leanne, and Carolina, according to the viewers at home. Judges, you've seen how the viewers at home scored it. Um, have you been impressed so far with the 12 contestants and how they've grown over the last few weeks? Absolutely, as I said before, Sammy, these girls have really grown and they have shown so much maturity. One thing I've always been searching for is for these contestants to dig in deep into their hearts and to find the real reason why they want to be Miss South Africa. And these girls haven't. As I've said to the girls in the interviews before, they were once cocoons, they are now butterflies. Well, I'm glad to see that both viewers and judges are thinking alike, but I think kudos goes to the broadcaster because they changed the format in terms of getting to know the contestants a little bit better, and that clearly worked. I am very pleased to see and to say that this contest is definitely one of the best in the world. I think uh, many of the European ones cannot keep the pace of the South African contest. So very well done, and congratulations to all of you. Judges, thank you very much. Now, let's have a look and see if the judges agree or disagree with our viewers at home. It's time to announce the all-important top five. Our lovely ladies are backstage right now, biting their nails in anticipation of this announcement. What I'm going to do is go through the entire list of each contestant and tell you if they're in or out. I begin with Masejo. The judges have decided that you're out. Next is Bridget. Welcome to the top five, Bridget. You're in. Cindy. Say hello, Cindy. You're in the top five. Elsa B. You're out. Peggy. You've come a long way. I'm afraid you're out. Carolina, you're in. Two places left in the top five. Leanne. Leanne, the judges have decided that you're in. Zenobia, I'm afraid you're out. Nkele, you're also out. Right, three girls to go, and one will be in the top five. They are Tersha, Lizelle, and Tamian. The person that's going to take the fifth place in the top five is. Tammy Ann. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our top five. <laughs> okay, after the break, we have some questions for the final five. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome backstage at Miss South Africa 2002. A massive moment. The top five have just been announced. Congratulations. Girls, Bridget, how are you feeling? Ecstatic. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond words. I can't say a thing. Cindy, how are you doing? I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to the last round. Carolina, you nervous for the next, uh, the next question? No, I'm just really excited and I'm grateful to be here. Leanne, you've been doing well all night. How are you feeling now? 
Um, I don't know, it's indescribable, but I'm very excited. Tammy and Sam, you also doing well. How's it going? I'm very happy. I'm excited, nervous, but happy. Very, very happy to be here. Congratulations to all of you. Now, 5FM, Metro FM and Good Hope FM have been running a competition over the last few weeks whereby we asked you to submit the question that you think we should ask the girls on stage tonight. Well, congratulations to 5FM listener Lauren Flack. You've won yourself a two-night stay for two at the Sun City Main Hotel. Now, it's the big moment the girls have to go up on stage and answer that question. But to ensure that nobody has an unfair advantage, we're going to be placing headphones over our top five ears so that they make sure that they don't hear that question until it's their turn. Bridget, you're up first. Good luck, girl. All right, here we go. It's time for the big question. Please welcome on stage, Bridget. You look fantastic tonight in your Craig native. Here's your big question. <laughs> If you could turn back time and change one event in world history, what would it be? Wow, that's a difficult one. Um, I think everything that happens in history has happened for a reason. It's enabled everyone to progress and to learn from it. So I really wouldn't change anything. There are some harsh things, some negative as well as positive things that have happened. But regardless, they've happened for a reason. Bridget, thank you. Jackie? Bridget, Bridget, you've always been really outspoken, and I must say, for over South Africa, you have to be able to answer questions, have conversation with different people, and right now your answer has been really, really brilliant. You are a great contender for the crown. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck, Bridget. Right, it's time for the next girl. Right, one down and four to go. This is a long-standing tradition. Go for it, Cindy. Good luck. Round of applause as she comes out. Hi Cindy, good evening. Here's your big question. If you could turn back time to change one event in world history, what would it be? Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't change one event. I would prevent it from happening. And that is the fact that there was ever apartheid in our world because we do not see in color anymore and I I think that what we've come to realize was never necessary to fight over in the first place thank you Simon it's very important to understand that there's no such a thing as right answers or wrong answers. What we are looking for is an opinion la opinionated lady, and you surely are one. Congratulations. Cindy, yeah. thank you. All right, it's time for our next girl. Carolina, you're up. Good luck. Knock him dead. Right, only a few left. Here comes Carolina. Isn't she looking lovely tonight? She looks fantastic. Welcome to the top five. Here is your big question. If you could turn back time to change one event in world history, what would it be? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I could turn back time, I think definitely World War II. Too many people suffered, too many people died, and that is what I would change. Thank you. Karina, I'm sure that the butterflies in your tummy must be really <laughs> fluttering about there. But well done for answering the question very well, and well done for keeping your nerves at bay. Thank you. Thank you, and good luck for the rest of the evening. Two girls to go. The next one's Leanne. You're up. Good luck, Leanne. Okay, here comes Leanne. Remember, the ladies backstage cannot hear anything that's going on here. It's the first time they hear the question. Leanne, welcome to the top five. Here's your big question. 
If you could turn back time to change one event in world history, what would it be? 9-11. I think 9-11 caused a lot of controversy. It created a lot of unnecessary problems. And I really think that that shouldn't have happened because we're still sitting with the problems today. Thank you. Like Simone said, there is no right or wrong answer to this question. However, it would have given me an indication of where your priorities and convictions lie. However, for a 19-year-old, you have answered well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leanne. Good luck for the rest of the evening. And time for the last girl now. Tammy Ann, it's your turn. Good luck. Four down, one to go. It's Tammy Ann. They're all doing very well tonight. Tammy Ann, hi. Welcome to the top five. Here's your big question. If you could turn back time to change one event in world history, what would it be? If I could turn back time and change anything, I wouldn't, because I believe that everything happens for a reason. And our path is laid out for us. I believe that God has a plan for all of us, and we should live it accordingly. Thank you. Salvatore. Oh, I have to say, I disagree with, with the answer. I would change many things in the history, but anyhow, this is a well-spoken answer, which is coming from a young person like you, uh, in one second, so I think was very well done, and this clearly shows that you can be an ambassador for South Africa. Thank you. Tammy Ann, thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the evening. All right, stick around, because after the break, we announce the winner of Miss South Africa 2002. New All Real Miss South Africa 2002. Brought to you by Veet. New All Real Miss South Africa 2002. Brought to you by Veet. Only on Emnet. Woo! Okay, welcome back to the show. We've already announced Miss Veet Legs, who was Carolina. And we've announced Miss Personality, and that was Zenobia. Now it's time to announce the all-important top three. Now, Nicole, I know you're backstage hanging out with Nessa Kerr, the, the Miss South Africa 2001. Would you please mind coming out here and escorting the top five, please? Wow. Wow. Isn't Vanessa looking awesome in her Mark and Michael outfit? I can tell that's Mark and Michael because I shot there as well. Now the winner of Miss South Africa 2002 will be featured in upcoming issues of You and Hazelnut magazines which will be in stores next week so don't forget to check that out. Also tonight live at 7 o'clock on Mnet will be the first official press conference that she will give for you so don't forget to watch that. But before we can have a press conference we have to have a winner. Our auditors from Price Waterhouse Coopers have audited all the scores from yesterday and added them to tonight's scores to come up with the following. The second runner-up is... Bridget! First runner up, and the lady that will take the place of the winner should anything prohibit her from performing her duties throughout the year is.
Okay. Three ladies left in the final five. Only one can win. The winner of Miss South Africa 2002 is... Contestants fly courtesy SAA only.